the subtle art of not giving a f Okay, well, I don't really think I can say that word because I don't think YouTube will let me. Although I've seen other channels that have said that word, so I'm not quite sure what the rules are. But for the purposes of the video, let's just skip that word and maybe we can use crap. The subtle art of not giving a crap. It's not quite as fun to say. I don't have anything against cussing, but I don't know. I don't. I don't want YouTube to uh, get mad at me or something. I don't know what they do. Who, who knows what YouTube does? In today's society, we're constantly bombarded with messages to give a crap about pretty much everything all the time. The world is constantly telling you that, well, the key to get better is to get a better life, is to get more, to have more, to do more, to buy more, to own more, to F more, to be more. And that's the message that they're constantly feeding us on a daily basis every single day. That's the content that we're seeing everywhere we go at every second minute of every single day. So if you're dreaming of something all the time, then you are reinforcing the same unconscious reality over and over again, right? So what unconscious reality is that? The unconscious reality that you are not that. You are not what it is that you're dreaming of. So you keep reinforcing that reality over and over again. So in today's world, we're constantly being encouraged to give a crap about everything. Give a crap about having a million friends on Facebook. Give a crap about having the right type of selfie stick. Give a crap about uh, that new TV that you just saw in the commercial the other day. Why? Well, my guess would be that giving a crap about all these things is good for business. But while there's nothing wrong with being good for business, the challenge or the problem is that giving too many craps is bad for your mental health. And that's where we run into a problem. Giving too many craps causes you to be overly attached and superficial and fake because you just give a crap about everything. The key to a good life is not giving a crap about more, it's actually giving a crap about less. Yes, that's right, give a crap about only what is true, immediate, and important. Not everything and everyone, but only a select few things and a select few people. That is the true key to having a good life. So tell me if this sounds familiar to you. You get anxious about confronting somebody in your life and that anxiety cripples you and you start to wonder well why are you so anxious now you're becoming anxious about being anxious oh no double anxious now you're anxious about your anxiety which is causing you more anxiety quick where is the whiskey oh my gosh so now you're just anxious all over or you get sad and alone so often, so often that it makes you feel even more sad and alone just thinking about being sad and alone. Welcome to the feedback loop from hell. God, I do this feedback loop thing all the time. I should stop doing that. I'm such a loser. Gosh, I feel like such a loser for calling myself a loser. Ah, what's going on? I'm going crazy. Calm down, amigo. Believe it or not, this is a part and one of the luxuries of actually being human. We are able to have thoughts about our thoughts. It's amazing. So while sitting there watching Cartoon Network, I'm able to have a thought about why it is that I'm sitting here watching Cartoon Network while thinking about watching Cartoon Network. Ah, uh, the miracle of consciousness. Our society today has brought a whole generation of people up believing that having these feelings is not okay. I mean, just look at our Facebook and our Snapchat feeds and see how everyone is having such a great time. Everyone's happy, everyone's excited, everyone's rich, everyone has a million friends. 
16 year old just invented a new app that automatically delivers more toilet paper to you when you run out. Meanwhile, you're stuck at home flossing your cat. You can't help but think, sheesh, my life really sucks. The feedback loop from hell has become a borderline epidemic, making many of us overly stressed, overly neurotic, overly self-loathing. This is why not giving a crap is so key. We have so many stuff and so many opportunities that we don't even know what to give a crap about anymore. Because there are infinite amount of things that we can actually see or know, there are equally an infinite amount of things that we can discover that we don't measure up to, that we are not good enough. But here's what no one knows about all the things that we see on Facebook and on Snapchat and on Instagram. The desire for more positive experience is in fact a negative experience. And alternatively, the acceptance of negative experience is in itself a positive experience. Also, it's not real. What we see on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, those are all broken fragments of a much bigger picture that we don't see. So this is a total mind crap, right? So I'll give you a minute to unpretzel your brain and deliberate on that. The more you pursue feeling better all the time, the worse you feel. As pursuing something only reinforces the fact that you lack it in the first place. The more you desperately want to be sexy and desired, the more flaws you start to see in yourself. The more you fix something with surgery, the more you notice the other areas and want to, want to keep fixing those things with surgery, regardless of how it is that you actually look. The more you desperately want to feel happy and loved, the lonelier and more miserable you become, regardless of those that actually surround you. Ever notice that sometimes when you care less about something, you do better at it? What's interesting about the backwards law? What's interesting about the backwards law is that it's called backwards for a reason. Not giving a crap works in reverse. The pain you pursue at the gym results in better all around health and energy. The failures in business lead to a better understanding of what is needed to be successful. Being open with your insecurities, ironically, makes you more likable and charismatic around others. Suffering through your fears and anxiety is what allows you to build courage and perspective. The pain and honest confrontation is what generates the greatest trust in your relationships. Value things worthwhile in life are won by surmounting associated negative experiences. Any attempt to avoid negative experiences only backfires. To try to avoid pain is to give too many craps about pain. In contrast, if you're able to not give a crap about pain, then you become unstoppable. Most of us struggle through our lives by giving too many craps about situations where craps do not deserve to be given. We give too many craps when a show we like gets canceled on TV. We give too many craps when someone cuts us in traffic or when our coworkers don't even bother asking about how awesome our weekend was. Look, this is how it works. You're going to die one day. Yes, I know that's obvious, but I still wanted to remind you as a lot of us seem to forget this fact on a daily basis. In short, we have a limited amount of crap to give. Very few craps, in fact. 
If you go around giving a crap about everyone and everything without conscious thought or choice, well, then you're going to get crapped. I'm talking about is learning how to focus and prioritize your thoughts effectively and efficiently. How to pick and choose what matters to you and what does not matter to you based on finely honed personal values. This is very difficult and could take a lifetime to actually achieve. But it is perhaps the most worthy struggle one can undertake in one's life. Because when you give too many craps, when you care about everyone and everything, you will feel that everything should be perfect in your life and should be exactly the way you want it to be. This is a sickness and it will eat you alive. You will see every adversary as an injustice and every challenge as a failure. In constant motion, yet arriving nowhere, that is how you will always view yourself. There is a name for a person who finds no emotion or no meaning in anything. Okay, that's a psychopath. There's no reason to want to be or try to be like a psychopath. So what does not giving a crap really mean? Well, not giving a crap does not mean being indifferent. It means being comfortable with being uncomfortable. It means being comfortable with being different. There is absolutely nothing admirable about being indifferent. Here's a sneaky truth about life. There is no such thing like not giving a crap. You must give a crap about something. It's part of our biological makeup to always give a crap about something. So the question then becomes, what do we give a crap about? What are we choosing to not give a crap about? And how can we not give a crap about ultimately things that do not matter? When we say, damn, watch out, May Day doesn't give a crap about anything. We don't mean May Day doesn't care about anything. On the contrary, we mean May Day doesn't care about adversity at the face of her goals. She doesn't care about pissing some people off to do what she feels is right or is important or noble. We mean that May Day is the type of person that would write about herself in third person and speak about herself in third person just because she thinks it's the right thing to do. She just doesn't give a crap. The willingness to be different, this is what it means. These people say, forget it, not to everything in life, but rather to everything unimportant in life. They reserve their craps for what truly matters. And because of that, people give a crap about them in return. Because here's another sneaky truth about life. You can't be an important and life-changing figure to others without also being a joke and an embarrassment to others. You just can't. Because there's no such thing as a lack of adversity. It doesn't exist. To not give a crap about adversity, you must first give a crap about something more than adversity. The problem with people who hand out craps like ice cream at a damn summer camp is that they don't have enough. They don't have anything more crap worthy to dedicate their craps to. If you find yourself giving a crap about trivial crap, your ex-boyfriend's new Facebook picture, for example, the TV remote that is just so damn small you can never find it. <coughs> Samsung, please make your TV remotes a little bit bigger. I can never find the stupid thing. Or uh, what your ex-boyfriend posted today on Snapchat. When you find yourself giving a crap about such trivial things, 
chances are you don't have much going on in your life to give legitimate craps about. And that's your real problem. If you don't find the meaningful things in life and the meaningful things to give a crap about, your craps will be giving to meaningless and unimportant things, meaningless and unimportant causes. Whether you realize it or not, you are always choosing what to give a crap about. Always. People are born literally giving way too many craps. It's just the way that we are biologically made up. When we're young, everything is new. So we give tons of craps out for free, right? We just hand them out. They say or what they think about us. What did my crush say or did my crush text me today? Did they text me back? They call me back. How many likes did I get on my picture off of Facebook today? How many likes did I get off my picture off of Instagram today? We have way too many craps to give out, especially when we're young. As we get older, we are able to see that most of these sort of things have little lasting impact in our lives. Essentially, we become more selective about the craps that we are willing to give. This is something called uh, maturity. With this, we learn to only give a crap about what's crap worthy. So guys, this video was actually inspired by one of the books that I recently read. And that book is The Subtle Art of Giving a F word, but we're going to replace that F word with crap because, again, I don't know what the rules and policies are here on YouTube. So uh, that it's it was written by Mark Mason, actually, and that is just a, a beautiful book. It's a book that really inspired me. And Subscribe and comment uh, for more videos if you have any more ideas or anything that you would like to see, what your thoughts are on today's topic. Uh, subscribe and comment and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.